View presents Show Me the Funny. You want to find the craziest like uh, neighbor in your neighborhood, find the one with the most Christmas lights. Because I feel like the person with the most Christmas lights outside the house has the most problems inside I the house. Agree. I agree. For a guy, a wedding is a big party right before your buddy goes into witness protection. Because after that party, you never see that dude again. <laughs> We've got the best slogan, Kiss Me, I'm Irish. So much better slogan than Turn the Lights Off, I'm Amish, or, or Explain It to Me, I'm Polish, or Circumcise Me, I'm Jewish. So. Every day we have the happiest and the loudest studio audience on television, thanks to our warm-up comedian, Tom Kelly. He's been cracking them up for eight years. Please welcome Tom Kelly. <laughs> Much. Sit down, people. Oh my God. Let me hear all the single ladies. It's been so long since I've had a steady girlfriend that this year for Christmas, mom and dad, they got me match.com, the dating website. Nothing more awkward than when you're sitting there under the Christmas tree and mom and dad just got you match.com and you have to say, Mom, Dad, I already have that. I've been single so long, I just changed my Facebook relationship status from single to non-practicing heterosexual. <laughs> I'm in my 30s and single. I'm at that age now where I've given up on the idea of having my own kids, and I'm now more excited about being a stepdad than a real dad. <laughs> Do we have any step right? Do we have any step parents here? I think being a stepdad is an awesome job. You've got three parents to pay the bills, and if the kid's ugly, not your fault. <laughs> that. That also works if the kid's an idiot, too. You go to parent-teacher conference day, and the teacher's like, Mr. Kelly, your kid has the worst grades in class. And you're like, yeah, takes after his real dad. <laughs> you know? One reason why I want to get married now is I want to have a good bachelor party, because bachelor parties get worse as you get older. I remember my first bachelor party, I was 21. We got drunk, it was awesome, okay? I am 38 now, went to a bachelor party last summer, and we played golf. <laughs> Do you hear me? Golf, people! You know what that means? By the time I get married, my bachelor party's gonna be at Chuck E. Cheese. You know? I'd rather date an older woman than a younger woman. Uh, I think 40 is the perfect age for a woman. Uh, it's just easier to text message with a woman in her 40s, okay? Like, whereas you text message with a woman in her 40s or 50s, and she wants to say, I'm going to the mall, she'll text you, I'm going to the mall, send. Same text message from a girl in her 30s will have like 100 extra letters in it. It'll be like, I'm a ma 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 going ga, 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 to the mall, yay! You know? And then you text someone in their 20s, like little Kardashian over there. You text someone in their 20s, they use the emojis. You know what emojis are? Emojis are like hieroglyphics in your phone, okay? We have worked on the English language for 2,000 years. Steve Jobs has ruined it with six years of the iPhone. <laughs> Same text message from that girl. It's like eyeball car building. And then I'm sitting there playing Pictionary, trying to figure out what the hell she means. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tom Kelly. Good night. To, you know, you, I think you have the hardest job in the world. You have to warm up our crowd and then... No, you know, we got the best hosts in the world and we got the best audience in the damn world. I'm working here with you guys on your coattails. I have performed for amazing people, the famous people she brings into the audience, ladies and gentlemen. I've had famous people sitting in the front row like we had, uh, you guys know Bruce Springsteen, right? <laughs> well, his mom was here. <laughs> And I got what was almost the nicest compliment of my career. She pulls me to the side after the show, and she says to me, Tom, you remind me of my son when he performs. Now my eyes well up with tears, because I love Bruce Springsteen. Then she says, he sweats a lot, too. <laughs> what do you mean when you say that you're a social media comedian? I mean, what would you post? I, uh, I have a, I'm big on the internet. I uh, love, on my website is thetomkellyshow.com. On YouTube, I'm Tom Kelly Show. On Instagram, I'm Tom Kelly Show. On Match.com, I'm Tom Kelly Show. 
<laughs> um, but I do a lot of like, I just walk around with the iPhone and it's like a comedy club in your pocket. Like my most trafficked video is uh, me videotaping myself, sitting right. in the comfort of my own apartment, right. listening to my neighbors have sex. One million <laughs> views, yeah. And I'm sitting there thinking, if I can hear my neighbors when they're having sex, can they hear me cry when I'm watching The Bachelor? <laughs> Who are your role models? My role models, uh, I, I remember the moment uh, that I wanted to become a comedian was David Letterman. Um, yeah, which he's retired. But I'll tell you one of the biggest treats is uh, I get to work with this one over here who I call the Barbara Streisand of my career. Yes, the guy working you. camera three. Yeah, no, you. <laughs> No, and for all the stuff you see, uh, she's every nerd's dream, ladies and gentlemen. She's one of the funniest comedians in the world, and she's been on Star Trek. Uh, <laughs> you know, and, and she takes care of every single one of us, especially my sweaty ass, so I love you're, it. you're good, kid, you're good. Thank you. Don't Thank forget you. that, ever. Thank you're you. good. Wow, Thank I you, think babe. I'm gonna cry. Are I'm you about to cry? I'm about to cry. I'm about to cry. <laughs> about to cry. <laughs> Members of our studio audience are going home with a pair of tickets to see Tom Kelly at Dangerfield's oh Comedy Club in New York City this weekend. Check out our website for details. We'll be right back.